Hello, my name is Brian Morgan. I am a, a senior associate and structural engineer at Magnus and Clemensic Associates, Seattle, Washington, United States. I'm a structural engineer for the Capital Commons projects, Green Hills projects, and Circular Verde projects. The Philippines in general is a high seismic region. It's part of the Ring of Fire. In addition, it's very active from typhoons and high winds. The West Valley Fault uh, runs through Metro Manila and it is seismically active. Um, but in addition to that, there's many other uh, earthquake hazards that are nearby. There's the subduction zone uh, further out in the ocean. Uh, the goal of any design, high rise or otherwise, is to provide a safe, habitable building uh, that can resist these natural uh, forces upon uh, a structure. So we have engaged some of the world's best consultants to help us uh, determine the seismic hazard at all of these sites. When we design for a building that's close to a fault, we're actually not designing just for a particular earthquake that might occur on that particular fault. We're also including um, faults that are 200 kilometers away that might be able to produce a larger earthquake, for example. So all of these faults go into very advanced computer modeling and prediction and develop a seismic hazard specific for that site. Yeah, so the Royalton at Capital Commons, the buildings are constructed of reinforced concrete construction. Um, the lateral system of the building is a central ductile concrete core, the spine of the building. Uh, and extends all the way down to a reinforced concrete mat foundation that is socketed into the rock. As the earthquake were to come to the site and move, you would anticipate this building would sway and move and deform, absorb that energy. And the ultimate goal is we do not want these buildings to be collapsing under these earthquakes. We want them to be able to resist these earthquakes in a predictable manner uh, and, and maintain stability uh, for the residents inside. So the Imperium is very similar, again, it's concrete construction. It is a more slender building than its counterpart, the Royalton. It uses a similar concrete core system, but it also utilizes an outrigger system to give it greater stability. What you'd anticipate in this building is that, again, its stiffness and strength are adequate for moderate uh, and uh, large wind forces. Um, under a very large earthquake, you would anticipate that the building would uh, react and rock uh, and absorb that energy through yielding of the buckling or strain braces. So these elements are meant to yield and meant to absorb the energy of the earthquake uh, and limit the damage under a large earthquake. So Maven uh, again is reinforced concrete construction. Uh, the two towers uh, one of them is approximately uh, 200 meters tall, the other is 130 meters tall. The buildings uh, will use this shear wall, core wall system as its spine, its stiffness. Uh, when lateral loads from wind or seismic hit the building, uh, the core resists these forces. It, it has adequate strength, it has adequate stiffness, it has adequate ductility, uh, so that when a very large earthquake event were to occur, the building moves and rocks and absorbs that energy dissipation and that absorbs that energy and dissipates it. Uh, rather than crumbling and, and failing, it absorbs it uh, through uh, movement uh, and the goal is to have a building that's safe and standing at the end of an all very large building. So the Viridian at Green Hills is a, a tall high-rise building. Uh, it's constructed of reinforced concrete construction. Uh, the lateral force resisting system is a central concrete core uh, that houses the central services of the building, the elevators and the stairs. It's the spine of the building. It's founded upon a reinforced concrete mat foundation into the rock, a very stable uh, system to take the forces down into the, the soil. Um, in addition, uh, 
the building utilizes an outrigger system with buckling restrained braces. Uh, the intent of that is to provide greater stiffness and stability of the building, a greater stance. Uh, and the detailing of that is such that uh, under wind and moderate seismic, uh, the building is intended not to yield. It's intended to have adequate strength and stiffness to resist those forces. But under a very large earthquake, what you would anticipate is that um, these buckling restraint braces are intended to yield. Their goal is to yield. Their goal is to absorb the energy that would be imparted upon it, such that under a very large seismic event, the, the building is able to move and react and, and absorb the energy such that you have a safe uh, a building that's habitable uh, and can withstand aftershocks and, and is not collapsed. So Avila at Circular Verde uh, is a reinforced concrete structure. It's two towers that are interconnected. They're not intended to be standalone buildings. They're intended to work with each other. Um, they're connected at the 28th and 30th floors such that under lateral loads, the two buildings will act as one. They will share the load and they will uh, resist the forces. Uh, so under wind and seismic load, uh, the building, you would anticipate it that it will react and move and sway under those demands. Uh, the goal of which is to have a safe, uh, habitable structure um, after an earthquake event. Given the very high seismicity of Philippines and the very high wind demands that come from typhoons, uh, it was important for us to engage other experts in these fields. Uh, so we reached out to an international consultant, uh, Langen Trotol Rolo, to help us with the geotechnical aspects of all of the sites. Um, it was important to help us define the seismic hazards specific to each site such that we could design the building uniquely for that site and appropriately for that site. Uh, in addition, we engaged the wind tunnel consultants, RWBI out of Canada, to help us find the wind loading specific to each site. Not only specific to each site, but specific to how the buildings will interact with each other. Um, a building standing alone it behaves differently than a building amongst a forest of other buildings. And so, um, with these consultants, other international consultants on our side, as the structural engineer, we were able to get very specific uh, and unique s demands and loads for each site, both from a seismic and wind perspective, and design the building safely to meet those demands. 